back to my channel uh, so today i have come with uh, pc uh, interview question and answer uh, like uh, basic questions and answer i am going to give you uh, with this ppt what i have made i am trying to explain you uh, this is basic question like uh, you will get or uh, uh, if you are going to give interview you have to know these things okay so first question uh, will be like tell me about yourself that they will ask and the next question will be explain design flow in last video i have uh, drawn a flow chart and explained how it is but in sentence what how, how you will give uh, give the basic answer okay don't move here and there nothing just they want a uh, straight away answer so like this you can make customer send their inputs like data sheet mechanical data and schematic data etc after receiving their input we will start the schematic work and after complete the schematic work we will send the schematic file to customer for schematic approval after getting schematic approval we will start the placement work after complete the placement work we will send the placement file to the customer for placement approval after getting placement approval we will do the routing and non electrical work and garble garble setting etc after completing those layout work we will send the layout file to the customer for pre layout approval after getting approval we will generate garble files and send the manufacturer files to customer this is the straight forward answer because they don't have much time to listen to you okay half an hour usually technical round will be half an hour and so they want a straight forward answer like that you can give okay so my next slide is what next question is what is the general tolerance for pth and nph hole pth is plated through hole and pth is non plated through hole so for uh, pth it is 3 mils and for nph it is 2 mils okay so next question basic input required by the layout design to start a design okay so basic is schematic diagram specifying the various functional block of the uh, design various functional block is like section input output analog digital power like this board mechanicals and connector placement board mechanicals and connector placement including dxf they can give or sometimes they won't give dxf they will give the board size and all like client will give board build up and pcb parameters like wire size traces width tra uh, trace width trace spacing etc next is layout guideline for any specific interface some guidelines will be there for power or some uh, critical signals some guidelines will uh, some, sometimes client will provide okay then requirement for any thermal signal integrity requirements okay then manufacturing information like surface finish panelization details any special requirement uh, like sometimes client want uh, uh, sill screen to be red sill screen to white sill screen should be green usually sill uh, sorry sill screen no, solder solder mask should be um, uh, green or red or uh, normal white or black what they want S uh, and uh, sill uh, uh, sill screen is white only okay so this is the thing next is component technologies these and all you people know but sub simply if client will ask what is component technology you will be like what they are asking so component technology is nothing but tht like through hole technology surface mount technology fpt fine pitch technology tap tap automatic bonding cmt like chip mounting technology sop system on package 3d packaging like this okay these and all you have heard before also because you are a pcb designer you know all these things some but sometimes will be blank what exact word we don't know what to explain what this so this is the answer okay smt package types smt package type smd surface mount device including active passive electrical mechanical components smt surface mount technology sma surface mount assembly okay smc surface mount components smp surface mount package sme surface mount equipment so small outline 4 to 28 pins vso very small outline 40 pin sop small outline package small sods sod small outline diode sot small outline transistor okay these are the smt package 
types so my next slide is same it is continuing soic okay a uh, small outline integrated circuit cc is chip carrier lcc leadless chip carrier plcc plastic leaded chip carrier lcc leadless ceramic chip carrier c melf metal electrode phase bonding mini melf mini, uh, mini metal electrode phase bonding micro metal electrode phase bonding like this now next question will be what is pcb classification so pcb classification will do two layer uh, sing, uh, single layer double layer multiple that is not like pcb classification pcb classification depends on users performance class okay for general electronics product consumer electronics toy non uh, critical system dedicated service product professional like system computers communications uh, uh, system etc then high reliability products life support system radars weapon system satellite communication equipment these all we can uh, say like class class 1 class 2 class 3 that i will explain later so this is pcb classification okay next is productivity general design productivity moderate moderate design productivity high design complexity so, um, uh, sorry general design complexity more direct design complexity and high design complexity uh, construction like build in this we can say single side double side multi layer metal core board like that okay this is the uh, pcb classification next is what is the difference between wire and through hole wire is to connect between two layers through hole is for mounting component on the board okay so next my slide is when we need to give thermal why we need to give thermal relief what what, uh, what for it used in the design uh, like oh, you can see that uh, when we'll give thermal relief no that uh, cross cross circular uh, you will be see that uh, uh, drag a uh, wheel shaped relief pad a wagon wheel shaped relief pad aged in the copper of ground plane around a through hole it connects to the plane through one or more narrow track across an opening in the plane rather than connecting directly to the plane so that heat transfer to the plane is minimized during soldering for minimization of heat transfer in one word we can in one sentence we can say so why we need to give thermal relief because we as per the name only it will uh, 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 dissipate less uh, heat so for that reason we are uh, using thermal relief okay so next question is what are the different types of pad shapes we use circular square oblong rectangular rectangular thermal so these are the basic questions which i have made in this i'll come next uh, in next video explain more uh, pcb in uh, design interview question so please uh, go through this okay and uh, thank you so much for watching my channel my video and please like share and subscribe thank you